It's time for a Boxing Day walk. Which is going to be good fun. She's wearing boots. That can't be a good sign. Because I hate mud. What I like is skateboards. Yeah, he stood on the scooter. You guys did all the work. Daddy. Hello. Today, what little videoing I'm going to do, and it's not going to be a lot, because today is Boxing Day. Boxing Day for us, can't think what the date would be for you guys, I guess it'd be the 29th. So sort of a between Christmas and New Year's Day. However, as I go on this little family walk, and I'm outrageously lazy, taking my board with me, which is just another way of saving me from actually having to do any exercise, which is bad. I must do some exercise. So she's been doing high intensity training. I think I should probably give that a go because I think it's actually probably quite a good idea. In the meantime, let's talk about supercapacitors. One of the most likely technologies to actually replace batteries as a form of high density energy storage. However, at the moment, the density sucks. The amount of power you can get out of them, that's fantastic. Which is one of the reasons why they're used in things like high-end amps. But the amount of power they store is really not up to the job. However, there are a large number of potential future supercapacitor designs which may well be able to fix that energy density issue. In the laboratory, these things work fantastically well. The problem is, like a lot of potential future technologies. They have no idea how to scale it up from very, very small, could barely run your watch for a day, to can run a car for a thousand miles. Which is where the potential for this technology is. And also, and this is quite key as an advantage over batteries, it would get rid of the battery degradation issue. And it would get rid of the slow charging issue. Right, I might have gone a little bit ahead by accident. I know what he's looking for. He's looking for the water that you almost always take with you. Yeah. Oh, do you mind me? I'm quite fast. Yeah, so whilst Jasper is just... You see, most of these advanced supercapacitor designs have something in common with advanced battery designs. They almost all rely... Ah, uh, Jasper's coming now. On nano production, nanotech, basically. Nanoscale materials. Hey, Jazzy, careful now, monkey. Jasper, you can't just be a downhill monkey. Jasper, you'd like skiing. You never ski uphill. Well, actually, that's not true. Some people do. When you get big hills like this, you weave from side to side. It reduces the angle a little bit. You have to recharge this thing at some point. Excellent. Where was I going with these supercapacitors? Yes. The big drawback is the manufacturing of them. It's all basically nanoscale designs. That's where the efficiency and necessary energy density comes from to make them a reality. And the problem with nanoscale designs is to date there are virtually no commercial applications of it because the manufacturing can only be done on the small scale and even then requires a small fortune in investment. Something which is quite a barrier. Might have to go back and see how Jasper's getting on now. This has been torturous. Jasper got cold because he didn't want to have to scoot up a hill. And now he's too cold to actually do anything except moan. And um, we didn't bring any gloves for him because he wouldn't have worn them. Nearly there, not long to go. You can see Marshall and you can watch Paw Patrol or you can watch going on a bear hunt. So we're bribing him. I do get it. My hands are cold. Anyway, I sincerely hope that supercapacitors do become a thing because they would fix all the shortcomings that come with batteries and they would just generally be awesome. But, at the same time, if supercapacitors ever work, then I'm pretty sure high energy density batteries with very low degradation will also become a thing. 
because they rely on the same thing. Nanotech would be brilliant. All sorts of amazing stuff we'd be able to do with that. We'll have more fun on scooters when it's warmer. We're going off to Gigi and Grandpa's a bit later. With that in mind, I'll just raise the charge level to 90%. Even if you have got super capacitors, you're not going to be able to charge up any quicker at home. I mean, the car could already charge three times quicker if it had a nice, powerful three-phase supply. But it doesn't, and it would cost a lot of money to put that in. And even with that, it would still take two hours to charge. So, yeah, at home charging, not going to be affected by supercapacitors. It's the on-the-road charging that would be dramatically improved by the advent of these things. We just need that nanotech to really come to fruition in a commercial sense, which is the barrier. You little Ewok! <laughs> You'll help the rebels destroy the Death Star, won't you? Death Star. Yes, he's like a little Ewok from Star Wars, isn't he, Jasper? Bye, Granny. Thanks Bye. for your help. No problem. Bye. Ah, oh, everyone's leaving. Now that doesn't mean it's the end of Christmas. We're heading to my parents now for a whole nother Christmas celebration. Still, somehow I don't think Jasper's going to be complaining. <laughs> I feel bad that everyone else's crazy dancing is in here, but thank you. Have a good new year. Happy new year. Following a little tweet exchange from Elon Musk, it looks like there's going to be a supercharger version 3, which is going to be able to provide 350 kilowatts of charging power. That's awesome. It's also not massively surprising to me because well, be interesting to see what Elon Musk has planned as a sort of response because he's always been very pleased with the fact that Tesla is the quickest charging vehicle out there. Tesla were never going to be happy having a slower quick charger than anyone else, even if the other people haven't actually rolled it out. Just the fact that they're thinking of doing it is enough to promote Tesla to really push their quick charging to the next level. I'm also fairly confident that the older cars are not going to be able to make use of that full 350 kilowatts because, well, the batteries would explode, wouldn't they? Gotta love Elon Musk and his obsession with letting things slip on Twitter. And it makes for a lot of interesting content that I could put in my blog. Anyway, we've, we've just now got a few little things to do. Let me get everything into the car and off to my parents' house for what will be Christmas Day version 2. Fantastic, because you can never have too many Christmases. Okay, let's get this little lot loaded in the car. Family is loaded. Oh, except for Sos phone. Sos phone is not in the car. Taken with the dragon. Oh. Ah. Righty, well, we're going to settle in for a nice evening of fun, entertainment, booze, TV, and board games. I hope you've all enjoyed today's blog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. Whilst Jasper is just quickly doing that, I'm going to finish off my uh, little supercharger. No my little super capacitor chat. <laughs> Is that the inside of one of her toys? Yes, that's the inside of her Christmas present. From this year? Oh, yes, this year. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh dear, Millie.